Across the world, smart cities often focus on technology to increase efficiency. But what about social development? Here in Japan, there are plans to create a new type of human-centered smart society. They call it Society 5.0. Welcome to SciTech, where we will visit two communities in Japan that have adopted the latest technologies to solve existing problems and improve people's well-being. Aizu Wakamatsu is a historic samurai town in Fukushima Prefecture. Home to over 118,000 residents, it's also a testing ground for tech-driven social development. In this innovation hub, a range of partners are developing a smart city platform, a model they hope to scale up to the rest of Japan and beyond. This platform collects data from connected objects, such as mobile payments or domestic electricity consumption, to share with administrations, industries and academia. It serves as the foundation to create all sorts of smart city services, cut utility bills, allow parents and grandparents to monitor children's school progress or get real-time updates on snowplow activity. Citizens provide their data for the region through a system called Optin. For example, as part of a healthcare project, your personal vital data or the hospital's data could be sent to the region, which would then analyze it and in return provide some recommendations for you to stay healthy. Opting in means citizens have to consent to provide their data. On the web portal created for the town based on the platform, locals can share any degree of information. The more they share, the more tailored the services become. And the more people consent, the greater the impact in the community. This resident, for instance, agreed to share the information recorded by his smartwatch as part of the healthcare pilot project. As a 62-year-old man, I think it's a very good thing that my medical data can be useful for people of the same generation. The data could be used for scientific research, but he can also use it to make adjustments to his lifestyle. When we finished this experimentation, 89% of the people who used this service answered that they had changed their behaviour towards their health. We're now off to the town of Araue on the island of Kyushu, with a population of 52,000. Its pit used to be part of the Miike coal mine, the largest in Japan, and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. However, after the pit closed in the late 1990s, the town saw its population decline rapidly. Thousands of residents have left in recent years and the exodus is accelerating. To revitalize itself, Araro is going digital. This horse race track was closed down in 2012. However, it will soon make way for a new smart city, offering new opportunities for the town and its residents. With this sustainable development of nearly 35 hectares focused on well-being, Arrow hopes to attract a thousand more inhabitants. In the meantime, the town has launched several smart cities initiatives. One is an AI-based taxi rideshare application. By calculating the optimal distance between users' departures and destination, the costs can be reduced. Before the launch of this taxi, I used to take the bus, but I had to walk about 500 metres one way to the bus station, and it was more painful for me to go to the bus station than to the hospital. The price is about half that of a normal taxi, so this is very useful. The town is also piloting a well-being mirror. It can identify your pulse and provide an AI analysis of your physique, like age, gender and smile, or your mood with healthiness, cheerfulness or kindness scores. It can then make recommendations, like more sports or relaxation. A practical application of AI to help people live healthier, happier and longer lives. We want to reach a society where quality of life is one or two steps higher than it currently is. With its new social development model, Japan aims to get closer to achieving the United Nations goals of more sustainable cities and communities.